with anything other than atheism. Like typically, that's what I hear from people. Well, uh, the atheist worldview doesn't account for morality. The atheist worldview doesn't account for evolution. The atheist worldview doesn't account for this, that, and the other thing. It don't need to. It's about atheism. Well, it does have to because, like, for no, example, it doesn't. Hello? Well, for example, uh, you know what else doesn't account for anything is assertions. They don't you account. So you can't give an assertion. God did it without demonstrating it. Well, we can just throw that right out because it's it's unsupported. No, assertion. Okay, anyways, I hope we can all agree that rape is objectively wrong, right? So no, without not, not to your God, not to your God, it ain't. He prescribes rape. No, well, you he see, does. That's, the, that's the issue of morality. Yeah, that's he not does. the issue of theism. He has people uh, raped uh, as punishment, you sicko. Read your no, source he does, material. Yeah. You're just making up Yeah, lies. he does. Read no, 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 your hold Bible. On, hold it's been on, recorded hold for on. You're, you're, you're spurging out. What he said was objectively. So, what Chester now has to demonstrate is that the concept of morality being or uh, rape being bad morally exists in reality as a thing demonstrate that that it is a mind independent thing do it chester let me hear it well right so it's written on our hearts uh, like no, 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 no 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 not asking about that i'm asking you to show that it's an actual object in space time that can be measured by something that's like asking me to prove love exists so you can't prove I, it don't say love no. is objective then right if you say love is objective oh then i'm gonna say that how do we measure that Show me love in a bottle, right? When you say something is objective, you should be able to put it in a bottle of some kind. Maybe the bottle's got to no, be really big or something like that. Listen, listen, stop, stop, I, stop, I, stop, I, stop, okay. stop. Objective means mind independent. It exists in reality. Yeah, that's what it I, means. I'll take that. So when, I'll shut that. up. So when these idiot fucks talk about morality, moral prescriptions being objective, they're saying they're things that exist in reality. Now, as Chester just quickly realized, it ain't an objective thing in reality. It's a subjective thing. Now, you're, what you're Chester wants to say, Chester, I'm not done. What Chester wants to think in his tiny little theist brain is that objective uh, statements are better than and more powerful than subjective statements. And that's just fucking stupid. They think of it as like a hierarchy of things that objective stuff is just better than subjective stuff. So when God says uh, rape is good, like it says in the Bible, that's objective. That's like some objective thing because you can't minimize it and say, well, that's God's opinion when it's not even fucking minimizing anything. They are two entirely separate things you don't go from like subjective fact about morals to you've evolved it it's increased its power level to objective fact about moral that's just stupid you just don't know what you're talking about so is your position rape is subjectively wrong my position is that morality any moral prescriptions are both objective and subjective there are elements of morality that are objective and there are other elements of morality that are subjective. So when is rape subjectively yeah. right? Never. Well, hold on. Hold, slow your sake. britches there, buddy. Not in my world, do you? Like, you're asking me. Yeah. So when you ask me about, like, some moral prescription, it's never going to be the case that I'm going to flip on a moral position. But that's that's missing the point. So the objective side of morality is only that we as animals can recognize behaviors and we can reach conclusions about those behaviors. I'm not saying one way or the other conclusions, just that we can reach conclusions, that we have the computational power in our brain to calculate, right, and recognize behavior and then reach a conclusion on that. Now, the conclusion that we reach is going to be subjective, governed by our influences in society and, you know, parental raising and other elements like that, which are subjective. So it's, it's stupid to say that morals are entirely subjective or morals are entirely objective. That's just fucking stupid. And you really need to take a few classes on like ethics and stuff like that. Maybe neurology, neuroscience, something like that to help you understand how the brain actually works. I mean, I understand neuroplasticity and all that nonsense. But, you know. It's not about neuroplasticity. I got a really good point. I got a really good point. 
I would say morals are like, as you're, objective. You're roboting. Uh, you're roboting. Yeah. Oh. God is, real hard. God is smiting your microphone. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to be quiet, but Chester, i could you like instead of like just keep well, asking agnostic questions, try to evolution it. Still roboting. Still roboting. But could you try to like explain what you mean by anything or like seem that you understand it other than just try to pick holes when you're supposed to be proving it? I've been more than, I think, obvious in my stance and worldview when I say that, okay, when I say rape is objectively wrong, I mean that there is no situation that you could justifiably, um, you know, uh, account for rape. That's uh, not what objective versus subject even means, dude. There is no way you can cook a bell pepper, a green bell pepper, that I'll enjoy it. There's just no way. They are vile. They are disgusting. I dry heave just walking through the fucking grocery store and seeing them out of my peripheral vision. So there is no way you're ever going to cook one where I'm going to go, mmm, this is good. So that's not what subjective means. It means mind dependent. I don't know. That's, that's, I'll have to look into that, but I don't know. I mean, you could, you could look in a dictionary, but. You know, I'm starting to believe that you are kind of placing those words on a hierarchy like agnostic was saying. Well, yeah, I mean, they all do that. They, they'll they say when God says something like uh, murder your son, that that's objectively good. But then half a millisecond later, if God says don't murder that son, all of a sudden it becomes objectively bad. All they're saying is that the opinion or moral prescription of their God thing is objective. It's a fact and reality that you can measure. It's retarded. Well, hold on. There's two points to that. First, you know, he didn't kill his son. And then second... I didn't say anybody killed anybody's son. I said when he says kill your son, it is objectively morally good, according to the stupid-ass ideology, to murder your son. One millisecond later, if it says don't murder your son, it becomes an objective fact in reality that you should not murder your son. This well, is retarded. This is a stupid way of thinking because all you got to do is replace the word objective with subjective and then you fix the problem because then all you're appealing to is the authority of God. That's all you're doing. You're saying God's got all the authority when it says something, when its opinions are stated, you better follow those opinions. Otherwise, he will fuck you up because that's really what you mean. Well, he's the creator and what's the greatest commandment? I'm just, do you agree that what you're appealing to is its authority? Well, he's the creator, of course. Just answer the question as asked. Are you appealing to its authority? Uh, I'm appealing to a couple of things, but definitely the authority, yeah. Okay, if you're appealing to its authority, then no moral statement by it is going to be objective. It's not going to, it's just subjective. You're he just is saying objective. it's got a. It may be, if it exists, it is an objective fact of reality, just like me. I exist, and I am an objective fact of reality, and I can dictate moral prescriptions. So when I tell my dog, right, uh, sit, right, I'm giving it a subjective oral statement of order. I am saying you will do this. Now, whether it complies or not. You know, those are dynamics of the situation, but it doesn't become an objective fact of reality that my dog must sit because I have authority over it. No, no. What I'm saying is that as the creator, if he is, if he is the creator and he is the one who 